Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on using the VBA function is numeric in Microsoft Excel. So oftentimes in counseling research, we're using instruments and we have an expectation of what the output is going to look like. And for example, I have some fictitious data here. And if you look at the final exam column, let's say for this particular instrument, we know that the output is going to be numeric. So we wouldn't expect to see any letters, for example, in this output. Now, looking at the size of this range, it's just 20 records, we can see there are no values that are non-numeric. But if this were thousands of records, it would be more convenient to have a code which would check each cell and give us the value of a cell that is non-numeric and the address of that cell or the cell reference so we could locate it and delete it or change it depending on why it was entered. So I have here a user form that has one button that's validate range and it has a list box with two columns and for any range that is selected, it'll check each cell to make sure the values are numeric. So let's, for this example, use aptitude test and final exam. So let's say for aptitude test, I'm going to put an A here where there was an 82. And where there's a 25, I'll put B. And down further, say here 43, I'll put a C. So I'll expect this code to catch these three values if I select all the data in these two columns. So I open this up and click validate range and it gives me uh, E7 which is uh, one of the addresses and then D9 another address uh, with the value of course and then C it's identified as being an E15. So now I could go back and as I mentioned either delete or modify these values uh, depending on why they were entered this way. So I'm going to show you how I built that user form. So I've already created another user form that opens using this uh, orange rectangle and it's actually very similar it just uh, the black background is uh, different and the button face color is different but you can see validate range and has a list box. So Alt F11 will bring us into the VBA code view. I just want to show you here the open user form 2 and user form 2 show. Right. This subroutine is in sheet 1 data and when you go over to the worksheet, what I did to connect it was just right click assign macro and selected open user form 2 so now that's how the orange uh, rectangle opens the new user form so here is user form 2 and other than just clicking insert and user form I clearly added a command button here and I changed the font of the entire user form times New Roman 12 and I added a list box that has a column count of 2 instead of the default which is 1 and I set the column width to 100 points each. I also set the back color for the whole user form to black to make this stand out a little more. So this only has one subroutine and it's behind this button validate range. I'll double click this and it's a fairly straightforward subroutine but it's important to pay attention to the detail in it as it is precise even though it is short. So the first thing I'll need to do in this subroutine is declare a value as a range. I'm going to use CL as a range. And that stands for cell and then I'm going to set RNG which stands for range to equal the selection. And you can see I typed it in all lowercase, but when I hit enter, it changes that to uppercase selection. 
And the first thing I do is start a loop. And I want this loop to check every cell in the range. So it's actually just for each cell in range. And then I'm going to put in next. And I'm going to work in this space here between the for and the next. So inside of this area now, I'm going to check each of these cells to see if that cell is numeric. So it's going to be if not is numeric. So if the value is not numeric, then and before I put this code in, I'm going to move down a little bit and put the end if. All right, so if it finds a value that is not numeric, it's going to be with me dot listbox one. And it's going to be dot add item. And then just a space and then CL value. And this is what I mean by the precision here. Uh, this is not equal sign CL value, it's just space. But if you look here at the next line, this is where we want to add the address of the cell to the same row, just a different column. So here it'll be dot list and then open parenthesis dot list count. Minus one, comma one, close parenthesis, then you will have an equal sign. CL dot address. And then we just need to add one more line, which is end with. So as you can see, the subroutine checks each cell in the range. This if statement checks to see if the cell value is not numeric. If it's not numeric, then it adds that value to the list box along with the cell address. So let's see how this works over on the worksheet. So I go back to the worksheet and I highlight the same columns as I did before. I open up a new user form, click validate range, and it does give me all the values that are non-numeric and it gives me the address of the cell that contains that value. I hope you found this video on using the VBA function is numeric to be helpful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me and I'll be happy to assist you.